right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Anderson is one year the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Corey Anderson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Underway, and when he sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. And he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Clean with the right hook. These guys throwing early. Oh, that's a good right hand. His misses are entertaining. Oh, that 
knows isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Big clutch lands through the middle. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Anderson. Lands the right hand. Anderson's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That's a big strike right there. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Nice punch there by Anderson. He blocks the shot. Ooh. Big left hook there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good punch land. Big head kick land. Give me those hard kicks. Just misses with a left hook there. There, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Straight punch lands. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Ten seconds to go. Oh, lands the overhand up top. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Let's round. Go. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. 
great punch landed with so much power. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Right hand on point. Lands flush with that right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice straight punch. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Powerful leg kick lands. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Nice, good. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Anderson. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Nice punch, man. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. that left hand. Swing and a miss. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfectly. Nice body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice punch by Anderson. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and screws you with that single strike. Oh, nice jab. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Kick blocked. Ooh, big shot lane. Huh. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key 
to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Good punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice counter jab there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. There's no give on that leg kick. Shove, shove. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice head kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Straight right hand now, just misses. Anderson circling towards the left side now. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Big leg kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. There you go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice strike. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, nice. Lunges forward with a left there. Throwing that jab, no good. Misses again with a right punch. Hands higher. Beautiful Hands strike. Higher. Anderson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Nice one, two there. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Nice loop of punch. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper set. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Connects with a right. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, you gotta like 
with the output here, so aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Visibly limping here. Nice. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Ooh, what a punch. Nice defense there. Huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now he touches him with the left. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Looked like it did stop. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Kick attempt, that one was blocked. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. That was a thudding leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Three minutes to go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Take him down! Oh! Nice high kick. Missed with that attempt. I gotta see some more strikes, Come on, Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by the Korean Super Bowl. That strike blocked, and he's got him here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Went for the inside leg kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's just... Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Just misses there with the left. Yeah, he's mixed up. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number four. Declared the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Chai. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have.